Okay guys, so the cooking continues in Val's kitchen and I will be cooking some rice to go with the curry chicken. Now the rice I'll be using is basmati and sometimes when I cook my rice, I cook it on the stove top. Sometimes I use my rice cooker and also sometimes I use either mung beans or I use lentils in my rice. When I do the Jamaican rice and peas with uh, black eyed beans or the red kidney beans, I have to pre-cook those beans. The mung bean and the lentils, you can always just put in with your rice and they'll cook because they cook pretty easily. So I have already um, put my I've put three cups of basmati rice and one cup of lentils. Now, generally, when I use the slow cooker, I just measure the, the rice cooker, sorry. I measure out the amount of rice. And if I put four cups of rice, and this is a cup that comes with the rice cooker. If I put four cups of rice, I will put four cups of water up to that line in the rice cooker, right? But what I do when I want to incorporate any type of mung beans or lentils with the rice, I just substitute one cup of the rice for whatever bean I'm using. So here I have three cups of basmati and one cup of lentils and I've already washed them and I will be putting them in. So to my basmati and lentils, I will add a little black pepper and salt, pink salt that I have combined. And I will add some onions, which I have chopped up. Then I'll go ahead and I'll add water. I add cold water to the rice, the basmati rice, lentils, my seasonings, and until it gets up to four cups. Okay, so now I have four cups of water. I just cover and then I just press the on button and it's off to the races. So it's good. It's going to go ahead and cook itself. I'll just stir it a bit and I wanted to put just a wee bit of coconut oil in there to give that coconut milk effect. Okay. So I'll just put a wee bit and then I'll go ahead and cover it. So I'll see you soon. Check this out guys. The rice is finished and my lentils were cooked. You can know that they're cooked just by, we like to squeeze these things between our fingers. <laughs> Back home when I grew up with my mom, that is what we usually do. Squeeze them between our fingers to make sure that they're cooked. And everything's cooked here and ready to be served. Okay, check this out guys. I have dished, dished up a lovely plate of stir fried veggies curry chicken and some basmati rice and lentils and i'm gonna take it to my husband he's gonna try it and let me know how it tastes let's go and i'm going to get a, get a bit of chicken get some rice on it Start with the rice and some, some vegetables mm. Mm. That's how I cook curry mm. chicken, mm, mm, basmati mm. rice and lentils, and my stir fried veggies. I mm. will be posting them in different videos. So it will be an evening dinner, and you'll have one video with the curry chicken, one with the veggies, and one with the rice. So look out for them, okay? Well done, well done. Thank you. So, guys. Thanks a lot for 
joining me in my kitchen watching my videos and supporting my channel for subscribing liking commenting and sharing thank you so much for sharing because the more you share is the more people the videos get in front of and is the more my channel will will grow and i appreciate that very much if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed please subscribe hit that notification button so you can be notified of new videos that is the only way you will get the, um, to know about all these lovely dishes, lessons from my design studio, tips and tricks for the home and the garden. Okay, so go ahead guys, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.